The Don't Mute DC movement is about way more than go-go music at 7th and Florida in Northwest. For the activists involved, it's about saving the soul of the city. Tonight, they brought their voices east of the river, calling on the people they elected to save a community hospital. Mike Valerio was there. Under the pulse of the drumbeat, the sounds of go-go echoing through southeast, there is fear among the people and patients of United Medical Center. Very insecure and scared as hell. I'm trying to, to scream the, the alarm. It is past critical. We're hypercritical now. What started as a protest in April to save go-go music from being turned off in Shaw, preserving the neighborhood's character, has now spread to preserving the vitality of DC's African-American neighborhoods. <laughs> United Medical Center, for everyone here, is part of Southeast's lifeblood. The protest that started as Don't Mute DC is now also Save UMC. If you're talking about United Medical Center, we face some of the highest traumas. Yeah, we're talking about cutting $25 million in the budget for this hospital. There's a new plan in the budget to close UMC with no obvious replacement in sight. You're going to close this down too so the community doesn't have where people going to go. You're going to have to drive across to another community or maybe even across the city to get health care. This is the only full-fledged hospital east of the Anacostia. And if the proposed closure does go through, Roberta, a nurse at UMC, only had this to say. Hold your breath, don't get sick, don't get injured, don't have a car accident. Most of us, when we have that emergency, we need to be seen emergently. In Southeast, Mike Valerio, WUSA 9.